Hey, hey! <laughs> Guess what? I need to read the service manuals a little more thoroughly. Look! Punch a sine wave into there because, you know, can't copyright a sine wave. So, what was all that about then, huh? Well, apparently, if the amp experiences some kind of DC offset anomaly, it will turn off and permanently lock itself out. Uh, it would be to save, save itself, I suppose, if um, there's something wrong there. Um, but... Uh, um, once it has locked itself out from a DC uh, offset error, it will never allow you to turn it on again. Unless you perform the following function. Advance surround and power. Hold them down for a couple of seconds. And it comes up. And it's on. Now the other button you can push, preset minus and power, hold them down, and it comes up with the number of events, so DC offset was 1, over temp, there was no, uh, over, overload, sorry, uh, was 1, and uh, do that again, so DC offset, overload, and temperature, errors and it counts gives you a count of how many it's had and the overload was set to one and the dc error was set to one so i'm thinking because the overload was also one uh it was likely the speaker wires were shorted together while it was running uh which created what you can expect a bit of a surge and whatnot and it probably logged the error and shut it off I uh, had a quick measure of the test points mentioned for the amplifier stage uh, and the adjustments there seem to be fine. There's no issue at all. So there we have it. Now once you've got those errors and you need to clear them because turning it on and leaving the errors there is probably not a, f a smart idea is uh, standard surround and power. Hold that down couple of seconds it'll come up and say clear push enter clear OK so that uh, then everything's back to normal um, and I don't know I mean if there was a, a real fault then it would probably come up almost immediately as well so I think we'll knock this off to a, a chance event and uh, send it out the door thanks for watching